What's up everyone? Today we will be doing a little tutorial on how to build a 1.15 bee farm in vanilla Minecraft, so no mods. We are not my usual world, world usual world. Mr. Bales just chucked me this world. So this isn't the exact amount of items you need, but this is my uh, this is the best bee farm I've been able to make. So you can do this with any size, but let's just jump right into this. So, you can use any block you want for the actual stations. So, you can put three blocks wide, and um, three blocks long. And you leave this part open, put two blocks here, and then go down... Ah, uh, no, sorry, but sorry if the music's like super... I'm not sure why it's so loud. Let's actually just turn down for volume a bit. Ah. Uh. There we go. So you can build it just like a couple blocks long. Um, I would recommend doing it a fair bit. Just so you have enough room to fit everything in. But you can use a bee nest or a beehive. The hives are a bit simpler to get. Um, and then, so actually, um, we need a flower, a cornflower, or any flower. I just like using cornflower, and a door. So, currently, um, let's actually know, let's just use a regular door. We'll do a bit of a redstone automated thing later on. Um, I'm actually gonna make this like a lot longer just so we can. Um, there we go, that works. And then, excuse me, Mr. Sheep, we just build up and build a round thing. So the outside should look something like this. So kind of just like a boxed in area. Like I said before, you can use any block you so please. But in inside, we have flowers and then seeds of any type just to make it a bit more efficient to get more stuff. Because if a bee with pollen on it, because bees collect pollen from flowers, and if we don't, if you don't know what we're talking about entirely, the new 1.15 update, the Buzzy Bees update, has just come out adding bees, beehives, honey, all that stuff. But first of all, we are going to want to remove this quickly and put a dispenser down right behind it and then place it back down. And the reason why we want to do a dispenser is because we're going to do a bit of a redstone clock over here. So um, if you don't know how to make a redstone, a simple redstone clock, you can just do it like this. Um, you can do it any length you want. I like to do it fair, a fair bit, so like one, two, three, four, five, six maybe. And then place down your redstone. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then from there, you place down your redstone torch. And you probably want to set these all back a bit. Um, just so that it doesn't go at insane paces. Um, because you don't want it dispensing constantly. So, something like that. Just going pretty slow and casual. Then, place down redstone here, and it'll keep activating this. So, let's just do uh, no shears for this one, because the bottles is an entirely different thing. So it should keep dispensing this out, and if you didn't know, you can shear a beehive once it's full of honey. We'll use it later, in, and once we do, it'll be full of honey. And, the she and it'll shear the thing, and we'll shear the hive and spill honeycombs. Honeycombs. And from there, what? Wait, so, next up, 
So from there, we build an underground area, and we have the chests set up. We're about to add hoppers onto them, so whenever the shears shear the beehive, it should um, knock them out and just send them flying, and then they should drop into these hoppers, where they collect up. And then, just to be safe, we add a couple over here. So, we essentially have this one done. So that is only one, and keep in mind you can do any length you want. So you could have like 50 of these going in a row, and have them up to world height. However many you want, you can do. However many. But, I'd personally recommend only a couple. Just so it is clean and sandy, and you aren't using up too many materials and bees. Well, I guess you can't read these, but like, we'll ignore those details right there. And then from there, we do a we do a door, a door, and then a door. And so, this one's a bit different. We are going to use this one for honey bottles. So I just added the bees to the honeycomb part, and just created, a, just mimicked essentially the same as this one. So we still need to add the redstone clock, but I added beet roots on this one just to swap it up a bit. But so, we can do same length with this one, so six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, five, oh, a one, two, three, four, five, six, and then lengthen these all up, and you have to have them all facing the same direction or this giant clock does not work, um, because, yeah, we don't, we want it to work in life. So, we have that, and then, boom. So actually, no. This one, we actually, it's actually a bit different. So we actually need to build underneath. Um. Mm. Okay, now, uh, we have, right there. Yeah, have it right here, folks. So we have the dispenser underneath. So we're actually going to want to move this. Move, move this underneath. Okay, so we have it moved underneath. All of them are lengthened. We want this one underneath because, so we need to do actually the same kind of thing with the hoppers, except not this time for collection. So, let's just add them all into the dispenser this time. Um, nope. Um, neither of those are wanted. Oh. Okay, there we go. And with any luck, we should have some stuff collected up on this other one. I heard some angry buzzing from these bees. No, none in that one, none in that one, none in that one. Or any of them um, just like hanging out that just got collected. No. You guys are just not sure what to do with your life. Um, let's get rid of the uh, other flowers in this area. So that they're not tempted by anything in life. Ah, mm. uh, flip. Let's just um that is annoying. So let's just lengthen these all. Okay. So we should be able to remove this, put in the redstone, and then put in some bottles. So just some empty bottles. We're gonna wanna get nine just to fill up this dispenser so um whenever you collect um a thing 
like whenever you collect the honey with a bottle, it actually gets you a honey bottle. So as you can see, it should, yeah, it's shooting out, but the dispensers are catching them and getting them back in. Actually, I need to reset this whole system because I messed it up, but it should keep dispensing. But it is stacking now, but that's okay. Because it should, whenever it starts collecting the honey, it should start spreading out. So we want to get the bee spawn egg. From here. And one, two, three bees. Should be enough. Oh no, you guys aren't allowed outside. Sorry, but that's the hard truth. Um, let's just remove some flowers and... From here, as long as you don't have any flowers nearby, you can change up the corners so they aren't just constantly walking into, like flying into the corners. But I didn't worry about it. And so, from here, you can just do the and build around it. So, you don't have to cover it up, but I just made a giant thing. Um, we have made honey ink. And now, if you're on, say, a server or something, so we have Bex is back here to the honey farms. So, say you're on, like, a server or something, and you want to make, like, a shop. Well, I'll give some tips on what it, on what something you can maybe do. So, let's just move these to the side for a second. And item frame, and a sign. So, actually, we want to put these right back into our inventory. Because we can, say, make a little, like, stand type thing. Hanging out in the corner. So you could, of course, like, prettyify the... If, you're, if you want to make, um, like, a factory type thing like this. I'm not worrying about that. Because I'm... Um, and uh, because it's seven, and I don't really have time to make it pretty. So, you can use any wool you want. I just want to use yellow personally, because, like, it's honey, you know, yellow. Yeah. Yes. You could, of course, use, like, honeycomb box if you really wanted to. And we can, of course, keep that site. We can use it for, like, a stand or something. So, let's just do this. Boom. Have the actual thing made. So, now, let's get a... Let's get a chest. Maybe a double chest for each. One, two, one, two, and one, two. Just for good measure. That one's on its own. So, actually, I think we need one chest. So, I made this fire resistance in viewed honey. Um, because, like, it looks, it's orange like honey. Yellow. There. Um, so, I just use it as in viewed honey. Um, cause I could. And then we have regular honey bottles. Um. Okay, let's just spread this out. Boom. And then from there, we just do the same with the uh, honeycombs. And. Boom. We have all the chests done, so now we get the item frames and the signs, and we can use, like, the honeycomb for the floor. Makes like a cool sound, is it? Don't mind the chat, I was just doing Phil. Um... And also in the new update, there's a new advancement. I'm going to leave to you guys to figure that out. It involves honey milk. 
things. So I'll just say that. And yeah, with honey, like I did in my showcase, you can't jump on it. I did a, I did a showcase on this on one of the first snapshots. Service, um, you should go check it out. I'm not saying anything, but go check it out now. Um, okay, now I need to get a sample of each of these. Um, now, honey. Honey, 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 honey. But actually, we can put like brewing stands up here. Put the imbued honey in here because it's a potion, so it works. Um, you can put in brewing stand, and it looks like a drink. So there, we have it kind of nice looking. So. Let's just do... Hmm? Sale. So, let's say we have a sale going on. On a server or something. Say it's like Christmas and you're doing this. Like it is for us. Merry Christmas, everyone. Or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate. Merry Christmas. Or Merry whatever you celebrate. So let's do... Honey, honey. Wow. Um, um, one, um, let's do 50% off, actually. Uh, we need to restart that. Honey, no, honey, bottle, 50% off. One iron, let's say. One iron to buy it. Boom. So then we put the item frame underneath. Honey bottle. So that's that. We need um, an imbued honey, actually. Oh my gosh. So this one's probably more expensive. So, imbued. Let's do, say, 25% off. Make it a bit more expensive. Two gold. You'd mm. honey, that one. Um, and now, honey, home. Um, let's do 85% off. Buy. Five. Get to get to. Let's do bad in caps. For E. And then. Mm, let's just go with one coal. You want to make these things cheap so that you <laughs> so that people want to buy them. And then let's up the stakes a bit. Actually, we should pro um, um, honey comb lot. Um, 50% off on this one also, let's say. And two gold. Actually, no, let's... No, yeah, two gold. No. Three gold. Three gold. Three gold. Okay. And let's put that down and that down. So, honeycomb block, honey block. No, not that. No, not an item frame. There we go. So, honey block. 50% off. 
off. Curry gold as well. So we have a little shop set up. And if you're playing on a server and you have that annoying Life of Maximan vet that's always trying to rob your stuff, you can always do a redstone opening, which I'm not going to list because there's many ways to do it. But that is my personal way of doing my personal most efficient honey farm. Honeycomb, honey farm, honeycomb farm. You can even use it as a plant farm. Sugar farm. I didn't add sugar onto that, but you can. So much stuff. But with that, I think we will see everybody watching this video next time. Bye! See everybody!